So what up, crew? Hi, 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 hi. You? For the one minute. All right. Okay, guys, please, when when you will come back, the goggles don't give to anyone, even don't forget in the quad or buggy also, because the company they don't provide, just we provide to our guests, all right? And so now you will go from here inside in the middle of the desert, you will wait for five, seven minutes to take some pictures, some videos, and then there will be many guys with the falcon, the national bird of UA. So part of the desert, not the full desert. I can't really use this and drive at the same time, so I got lost. I'm by myself. <laughs> the desert sun on me. Um, it's actually not that hot. It's very bearable. And uh, what I have on is keeping me cool. This is my buggy right here. And the rest of the team is going to be upset with me, but I don't got no picture, so I need to get a picture. So I can see I'm out here dolly in the, the flipping desert. I'm not lost, though, but definitely out here dolly. I can't drive and vlog, but still a good time. It's kind of like jet skiing, to be honest, but you need both hands. And I guess I need a GoPro, but still a hell of an experience. Things like 50 US. And just to be out here in the desert, how many people get to go out in the desert, right? And drive a buggy, so... That's what's up. I'm gonna try to take a selfie, then I'm out. So I ain't get some crazy footage of me driving, but I need a GoPro, I gotta invest. To the desert. <laughs> and it's crazy, cause I definitely got lost. And I thought it was easy to find back, but I don't know what I was, what I was doing. And it's, it's, it's still a great experience though, but I got lost. So I was trying to GoPro and go, and it wasn't going and this is what can happen to you. You get lost out here in the desert. Like, it's crazy. Like, everything looks the same. And I was trying to follow the track, but I went to another different track and ended up with a different team. And now, hopefully, they can bring me back. I definitely got my money's worth. Hey, what up, y'all? What up, what up, what up? Give me some waves. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Yo. happy that didn't, I, I thought that was going to happen to me. Very good. I loved it. Oh, man. What about your camera rod? That was a good time. And where are you from again? Virginia. Virginia. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. DMV in the area. All right, cool. Oh, you like the camera. You want one? Yes. Take it back to the States? Yes. Patash. 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 Yo, Patash, you look you look cool. I mean they got a muzzle on you, but you know. I guess it's for our protection, your protection. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, so camel ride on the bucket list. These camels smell really good, you know, compared to the Egyptian camels. <laughs> but it was a good time. Time was had.
ride the back, all right? Just, you know. I'm the front man. You know, just for time constraints, we gonna oblige these people. I'm gonna dim my light. What are you doing to the tires again? What's up? They're, They're taking down. pressure. They're airing down. So, wait, why are we doing that? Uh, when you're going through like off road and the sand and stuff, you gotta air down so you don't get stuck. Ah, so we gotta air down the tires before we get stuck in the sand, and that's what we stop here doing. And we in the AC. So, do they air up after? Because. <laughs> yeah, they put the <laughs> All right, y'all, so we gotta air down. If you want us to come in with a white SUV. According to the driver, it's not a law, it's just their preferred. All right, guys, so this part is kind of windy, kind of noisy. Everyone is screaming. I want to bring everyone's attention to the windows and try to look at the angles, the way that the SUV is turning. And I'm trying to hold the camera straight, but in most cases, we're at a lean. Like we're leaning left to right, going back and forth. It's kind of like a roller coaster ride. And you're going up, down, sideways, vertical, horizontal. Well, I can't say horizontal, but you, you feel like you're gonna roll. And as you can see, the rolling cage is there to protect us. And you know, that's cool. So if it were to roll, it's reinforced. No one's gonna get hurt. Seat bolts is definitely a must. But this has been like one of my greatest experience in life. Like just going through this, just experiencing this. The people I was with were dope. The guide was dope. And it's just like a crazy roller coaster. And you think you're gonna die, you think you're gonna roll over, but you're not. And the way that it's designed is, is, is pretty amazing. It's almost like magic. And if you look at the other vehicles and what they're doing, they're doing the exact same thing. It's like coordinated madness. But I can't recommend this Desert Safari enough. Like I would definitely do it again. It was dope and uh, Enjoy the rest of the video. I couldn't really get the live sound because my man was playing hip hop. He was blazing hip hop and R&B in there and I don't want to get copyright strike. All right, don't forget y'all hit the like button. This is going to play for another 30 seconds and we're going to get into the next step of the safari, which I think is where we stop in the desert and take pictures and stuff like that. Thanks for watching, hit that like button.
Max, okay. Here after they go from the dune smashing, they get their tires reinflated, they air out the car, try to take all the sand out from the engine. It's really dope, it's like a little rest stop. It's a little tourist trappy because they're gonna try to sell you stuff, but you know, you can turn it down. Usually, with the guide, you get free water, so or you can drink water and you just hang out here. And basically the the desert's that way. So over there is the desert. Well, the entrance to the desert. And then you come back here, a little rest stop, and they got a couple of these. And you reinflate the tires. You go to the toilet, and you rest. And they sell you corn. They sell you food. But you're about to go to a barbecue, so I'm gonna pass on all the all the meals for now. Still in the middle of the desert. Your name? Yeah, okay. Ooh, what's this? You get a date. Well, I guess this is a Russian. All right, this is coffee. Arabic coffee. Arabic coffee. Okay. Arabic coffee with dates. Take one. With the dates. Date and one sip of coffee. Okay. Ooh, this is hot. So I take the date. Yes, one bite of date and one sip of coffee. Mm. All right, you can try the lugia mat. All right, eat full. Eat full. Eat full. Yeah. It's like a donut. Yeah. Oh, like that.